We're here with Spencer Cohen of Cellcoms, and you've just set up MAD, Choose Mad, uh, the online jewellery store that helps charities. Tell us more about it. Um, Cellcoms has been in the not-for-profit sector for the last five years, and we've been researching different ways of trying to put together new fundraising tools, tools that wouldn't affect what's going on in fundraising today that would actually enhance um, fundraising and actually bring in revenues from different areas. Mm. And you sell, you've chosen jewellery, why have you started with jewellery? We started with jewellery because, believe it or not, in today's economy it's still a, um, a product that's actually increasing year on year. Um, jewellery has actually, for the last three years, have increased by 5% per year in today's economy. Also helps that my family have been in jewellery all their life and I have the contacts to get started. And how does it generate money for charities? Basically, the site Choose Mad will donate all of its profits to the charity that the consumer chooses or that the charity's supporter send to the site. So the more sales that a charity's supporters can generate, the more it'll, it'll earn? Well, basically, all the profits from that site will actually go to the charity. Um, we've spent a long time putting in the... Um, in the process and the logistics in place that we can ensure that there'd be no risk to the charities. And you've only just set up this year, how many charities have you got on board already? Well, I think roughly about 250 charities are signed up in less than two months, mm. which is pretty amazing. And what kind of charities? Large, small? A mixture, um, from Scent Scotland to Young Epilepsy to smaller charities like LDM Research to um, Haven House, which is a really lovely um, children's hospice, which we support. And what do they have to do? Do they have to promote this, or will you promote it? We, what we, we didn't build the business that we are dependent on the charities themselves. Um, the whole concept with uh, Choose Mad is very much that we're not going to try and take away the donations that somebody wants to make a pound, ten pound, twenty pound donations. We want to attract that person that's going to cross the road and walk into a high street shop. And that's why we're called Choose Mad. It's their choice. They can either go and buy from a high street known brand, or they can come to Choose Mad knowing all the profits go to charity. There's two ways that the audience will get there. The first one is through our homepage. Um, so we launched Facebook um, a couple of months ago. I think we have over ex uh, an excess of 10,000 likes already. Um, we have Twitter campaigns. Now, anybody that comes to our site on checkout, they're asked which charity they'd like the profits to go to. On, alternately, if it's the supporter is sent by the charity, then um, the system will automatically recognise where that supporter comes from and ensure that those donations go to the charity. So, in a way, that could be ongoing income for the charity. We're hope well, we're hope hoping that it's ongoing. So, we're building things like charm bracelets where. You know, if you're celebrating your diamond anniversary, then it's going to be a diamond ch uh, charm, and then the following year a different charm, whether it's jade, crystal, pearl. You know, we'll just carry on with different concepts and different ideas. So it might be a charm to help purchase an X-ray machine or whatever. So where can we find out more about Choose Mad? Well, there's two places. You can go to the Cellcom site and click on the Charities uh, tab, or you can go to Choose Mad itself and, and have a look around. Um, the whole concept is that we don't want to be a button on the back of your page. We want to work closely in partnership with you. We don't want to raise hundreds of pounds, we want to raise thousands of charities, tens of thousands, if not possible hundreds of thousands. We will throw our whole weight behind our relationships and our partnerships to make that happen. Um, we've extended um, the type of offerings, so apart from the online jewellery store, we now offer jewellery parties. So if your supporters and volunteers, there's 1.4 million volunteers in the UK, if they want to put on a jewellery party, we'll send them the jewellery, we'll send them the whole pack, how to run a party, what to do, and we'll have support on the telephone for them to take credit card payments or answer any questions they may have. Spencer Cohen, thank you very much.